What's the crack? Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly. I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm actually just about to run out of my house because I'm heading up to North Clare today. I really have to go now, but I just said I'd do a quick intro. Just say hello and introduce you to today's video. So yeah, let's go. So I'm here at my location now. I'm in a little town called Tubber. There's gonna be an event going on here on the 25th of January, and it's called Feel the Burn. And it's kind of a 10 kilometer obstacle course, and I'm not here to run it, I'm here to shoot a video for it. Yeah, I'm excited to do it because uh, it seems like a cool event. It's in a beautiful location. Today's Tuesday, and I'm not starting the video until Saturday morning. So I'm just here today to figure out what I'm gonna be up to, have a look at the locations, get a better idea for the place, get a better vibe for what it's all about. Oh, there's some sheep. They're so confused right now. Here, boy. Oh, they're cute. Really cute. You're all right, Jer. You keep them well? No news since I last saw you. <laughs> no, you don't want to? I understand. You prefer a bit of takeaway. So a few weeks ago I found a website online called feeldtheburn.ie and I was looking through it and I thought, wow, this is a cool event that's coming up in Clare. And then I noticed that they didn't actually have a promotional video. So I was like, ding, I'm gonna contact them, ask them if they want the promotional video. So a couple of days later I got a, I got a phone call and I didn't notice at the time, but it turned out to be Hector, Hector Hookgon. And he's actually a TV presenter here in Ireland. I've been watching Hector on TV since I was like a kid. I'm not even joking. He's had some great TV shows shows it turns out that Hector is actually planning to feel the burn uh, 10k so he said yeah I'd definitely be interested in doing a video to help promote the event and to get people back here and that's why I'm here today I'm, I'm having a look at the locations and I'm gonna be back here on Saturday uh, filming the video so this is just gonna be a behind the scenes video showing you about what's going on here what we're doing before the event happens what we're doing during it uh, what I'm doing to shoot it how we're shooting it all these different types of things and just kind of give you a better idea of what's going on before the event starts and some of the things that you don't actually get to see. So yeah, it should be cool. Look at how cool these walls are. Ancient. All these marking stones here along the way, you have one here and you have more up along. There's one right there. But all of these stones have been made specifically for the event. They're gonna mark out the route all the way up along. On top of the hill, they're gonna have a bell to ring and a big massive plinth. But it's just really, really cool that they're taking this much effort and putting this much work into doing it and making it right for the people. And a big part of the event that Hector wants to get across is that it's all about reconnecting. It's all about leaving your phone down, getting out and doing something on the Saturday or the Sunday when you're off work. It's all about reconnecting with nature, getting out into beautiful places, breathing in the air and, you know, get something new in your soul, you know? Can't wait until Saturday because it's my first big video doing this year and I really want to do a good job of it. And plus it's for Hector, you know, a person I've been watching on TV for ages and, I, like, it's not that, <laughs> you know, it's not that I want to do a better job because it's Hector, it's just that I want to do, like, I just want to do a good job overall because, like, this is what I love doing. Plus, it's another video under my belt so I can go along, maybe, and show it to someone else and they'll give me a job off the back of it, you know? It's all about progression, it's all about having these little steps and doing it one piece at a time. And yeah, that's what it's all about. And today is just another step on the long road ahead of me, you know? I just wish it was Saturday already. <laughs> Into this field and, and down again. Cut cool. across halfway and then walked in yeah, the top part. There's no hassle there at all. It's quite spectacular. It's really, really cool. We're about four days away from our first ever challenge here at Field of Burrid in Bouleven Farm in this spectacular. I mean, as the crow flies, Galway City is 20 minutes, 25 minutes away. Kinvar is over there. Tubber is the local GA club back here. Uh, Boston and then Crusheen. Uh, if you're on top of the hill, way up there where you can see our dolmen, I can see that the, the flight's landing in Shannon. So hopefully in years to come, the flight guy, the captain will go. And as you can see to the right, that's where they run Field of Burren. <laughs> but we're really excited about our first ever race here, our first ever challenge. It happens this Saturday, it's called Ice, and it's called Field of Burren. And we're really excited. We have a couple of hundred people coming for our first ever challenge to get back to the land, to detox, 
to achieve something, to get out and feel good, to get that fresh air and, and, and wave goodbye to January. What more could you want? So tomorrow's Saturday the 25th and it's the day of the Feel the Burn event. Really, really hyped to do it, um, but I just have so much to plan. I'm charging two batteries for my GoPro, I'm charging two batteries for my camera, two batteries for my monitor. I've got a pair of boots, I've got gloves, a warm jacket. I just hope I don't forget anything. That's always the thing, you know? Like there's always like this one little fitting or this one little screw that you didn't bring. So I'm trying to remember every single thing. I think I have everything. So tomorrow is going to be a tree camera shoot. I'm going to be using my main big camera. We're going to have a GoPro on one of the runner's chests and we're also going to have Johnny in the air with his drone. And one of the most important things for a shoot like this is always to have spare batteries. To so have a spare GoPro battery, I have these other two batteries that I just keep as spares. Another smaller one here. It's always good just to have these backups just in case because you never know what's going to go wrong. Even if they're third party ripoffs, it'll get you out of a hole, you know. Spare SD cards as well. So I have three 128 gig cards in here and a 16 gig card. This is more than enough that I need for tomorrow. Always have more than you need in cards and batteries. You know, you could drop something and all of a sudden that's it, the shoot is over. And also what you might have learned from the behind the scenes of my Christmas video, which you can watch here. Don't forget to bring a penny. You always need a penny when you're on a film set. The main problem I think I'm gonna have tonight is just getting to sleep because I'm so excited. Another reason I'm excited about tomorrow is that I finally get to meet a subscriber and a friend of mine, Johnny Murta. So I asked Johnny the other day if he'd like to come along and put his drone up into the air. So you're gonna get to see some really cool drone shots as well. And I'll leave a link to Johnny's channel in the description down below. And I'm just excited to finally meet him and we're gonna be doing something later in the year as well together. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna head to bed now and I will see you all bright and early in the morning at six o'clock. Goodbye. Morning. It's uh, Saturday morning. It's just a little bit after seven o'clock. I'm here in the square waiting for my lift. He should be along soon. Yeah, excited that I get to meet him and just excited to get today underway. It's gonna be a big day. It's gonna be a big video and yeah, just more work in the bag. We're here at the location. This is in uh, Boulna... What's it called? Boul Boulinville. Boul... Bulevin, yeah, it's in Bulevin. It's Johnny. Uh, so it's my first time meeting, and you've been a subscriber for how long? Over about a year. About a year, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely enjoy your work. Finally get to meet you. Yeah, that's the thing. I was saying yesterday, like when I was recording, I'm, I was more kind of excited to get to meet you today, and just because we've had so many conversations <laughs> online <laughs> talking about cameras and stuff like that. Now like, you know I'm bluffing now. Talking <laughs> rubbish for a year. But yeah, it's just cool to be here, and yeah, it should be a good day. We're hoping that the the weather stays good so the drone can go up in the air. So fingers crossed. Here's the latest wave just starting up, getting ready to go. They have no idea what's ahead of them. Like I've seen most of the course and it is brutal, honestly, it's brutal. TG Cahar here as well doing some coverage. Our cameras and stuff set up. You ready to go? You've got your Osmo and your drone that you're putting up there. State of the art. It's pretty cool. It's, it takes a nice, nice shot and it's got a gimbal that holds everything steady in the right settings. So you can just move around and... Yeah, and it'll follow. There's a follow mode. You can click on someone and it'll follow them. It's... Uh, Google it. Have a look on YouTube. They're really good. <laughs> hopefully, weather permitting, we'll get a few overhead shots. Yeah, it looks like it's like the weather will hold, hopefully. We'll this see. is County Clare. It could be sunny in 20 minutes. It could be snowing yeah. in 25. It's Johnny's drone. I've never seen one of these in person, but uh, it's really, really cool. Very cool. What a day, seriously. We're not even halfway through. It's like, what time is it? It's not even quarter to 11 and I've already filled up one of my cards here in Giant the Burn. My camera and my gear is here, so I'm waiting for one of the groups to come along and uh, yeah, go through this obstacle so I can get the shots of them. I'll be honest, it's been pretty busy because I've had to cover each obstacle, so I have to go from obstacle to obstacle and uh, get shots of each one. And then I'm gonna be going up onto the mountains there somewhere somewhere here in the background to uh, get shots of the people coming up the hills and stuff. It's been really, really cool so far. I've got some great shots. I'm really happy with how it's going. It's just great to be out here in the middle of the burn doing what I love. It's brilliant. And apologies if the camera is shaking because my hands are so cold. Look at this view. Unbelievable. And the view is only going to get better because I have to go to the top that hill right up there and I know it doesn't look too steep now but it really really is it's like 50 degrees or something like that so uh, yeah this should be fun oh, I'm already bollocks <laughs> made it to the top I'm done for the oh, like this was just one obstacle out of ten 
Yeah. It's also very, very windy up here, so I hope you can hear me. The reason I came to the top today is because of this, the bell. So when people do the course, they run around and they get to the top of this hill and they ring the bell to say that they've done it. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm worthy to ring the bell because I didn't do the whole 10K. But you know what? I made it to the top of the hill. That'll do me. <laughs> this was my 10K, climbing that mother hill. They're finally coming down out of the hill. We're almost finished, I think. That was the last wave of people. So I'm gonna go down and pack up my gear and then I'm gonna go home tonight and edit. You know, this hasn't been the craziest vlog. Like, I've honestly been up the walls while I've been recording here, so I can't really vlog a whole lot. But I hope it was good enough. I have to say, honestly, like, fair play to the people that did this 10 kilometers. These people are absolute beasts. They were in these hills doing 10 kilometer. I climbed this one hill and, like, I thought my legs were gonna fall off. <laughs> So I hope Hector and everyone else is happy with how it's turned out because I think they got to get a good turnout and uh, it's been an awesome day. So yeah, hopefully we'll see them again soon. And Hector was telling me the other day that this is only the first of four this year. This is called ice. The next one's going to be called water. Then you're going to have sun. And then in Halloween, it's going to be fire to celebrate Samhain. The Samhain one to me sounds the best because <laughs> like I love Halloween time. Oh. I almost slipped. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> if they're happy with the video and they want me back, I'll come back here in a heartbeat because this place is awesome. I would film here forever. So it's been really cool. And Hector, if you're watching, Gaurav Mila Mahagat. And uh, cheers. Okay. I'm down out of the hill. I survived the hills in the burn. I have my camera here. I've been carrying this around all day. My arm is just killing me. Like, I really wish I could do the 10 kilometers. I really wish I was fit enough and healthy enough to do it. And maybe next year or the year after I could. So I think in order to do something like this, you have to be mentally ready first and then you have to be physically ready to be able to push your body to those limits. And honestly, some of the people there today, like they looked seriously fit, but when they got to the top of that hill, they were just wrecked. And I know how to feel a little bit. If they want water along the way, they can just stop here and drink out of the cow troughs. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Although I'm so thirsty now, I nearly would drink out of that trough. Just to give you an idea of how busy it was today, I have a thing on my phone that tells me to do 10,000 steps every day. Some days I do it, some days I don't. This morning, those 10,000 steps were done before 11.30. And I do 50,000 steps, 60,000 steps, just to get those shots. Because that's what it's all about, you gotta get the shots. I tried to be on the ball, tried to get the shots I need. That's all you can do, is just try your best. We're finished and uh, we're heading back towards In The Snow. What do you think? It was a good old day. Fantastic day, absolutely brilliant. Really loved it. Everybody had such a great time, although they're all exhausted. But, yeah. <laughs> we're exhausted as well, I'm we didn't even do the 10k. <laughs> <laughs> that hill, my legs are still like... Just... I don't want to mention that hill again. <laughs> <laughs> we might be back again at some stage in April. Hopefully if they want to have us again, it will be really cool. But uh, if not, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I didn't vlog as much as I wanted to. Or... But yeah, that's just how it goes. Like, that was the thing, we were just so busy. Yeah. Like I wanted to get Hector in the vlog as well. I have like a little clip of him. Yeah, it's just, you know, it was just so busy. That's, that's how it goes. Like next time maybe we'll try and get a better one. So it's a few weeks later. It's almost the end of February. It's 19th of February actually. I made it in the video. Yeah, I realized what, as I was in it, that I didn't do an outro. I just want to say thanks for watching. I appreciate you stopping by. Hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes for Feel the Burn. The video isn't officially up on YouTube yet. It's on the Feel the Burn Facebook page. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. But as soon as it comes up on YouTube, I'll be doing like an update video or I'll mention it in one of my weekly vlogs. And I even got featured on TG4 News. Here's a clip of me. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Getting ready to go somewhere tomorrow, and that's going to be next week's video. I'm going away somewhere for four days. Uh, I'm leaving Ireland, and I'm going somewhere. So you'll see next week. Stay tuned. And like even my energy now, like even like my energy talking, yeah, I just feel really low because I'm so tired, and I've just had like a crazy busy day. Okay, I'm gonna to go to bed. So thanks a lot for watching. Sorry about having no video last week. I'll make up for it. I promise. See you next Friday. Bye.